excuse my appearance but oh my god so this light is so bright it's like literally blinding me in my eyeballs um as you can see we ran last week's breakfast back i just really wanted some home fries i just love them they're so good oh my god and uh we ran breakfast back and then we just had a lazy sunday Ugh, you know how it is on sundays gotta prepare for mondays mm. fun times fun times is this zoomed in why is it like i'm but anyways yeah so we just had like a really lazy sunday today and now it's 8 19 and night i thought my package from desi was supposed to get here today that's a lie that's not happening um i have some more packages to get ready to get sent out tomorrow which i did as well but what had happened was I came up here to edit this week's video that you guys are supposed to see on Wednesday, which ideally for me, I want it to be the collective haul because I'm so excited about it. I don't know why I'm so excited about it, but I guess it's because I've been waiting to do it for so long and I don't like the footage. Ugh, I'm going to show you guys why I don't like it. And I know it's probably just me being hard on myself because um, I'm such a perfectionist. Hold on, because my bun is just like collapsing on this. Like, what the hell? Ow! I, like, just stub my finger because I closed my window and now my finger hurts. That's why I can't have long nails. But it's just me just being a weirdo like I am because I just pay attention to these things. I know most people won't, but I know people that will. And it just bothers me. So I'm going to show you guys, like, what I'm talking about in two seconds. But basically, when I filmed the collective haul... At the beginning of the video, I had the lens turned a little bit and it was showing something. It was showing like the corner of my dresser and so I turned it with my hand, but me turning it, it also made it go up more. So I feel like it's just not the most flattering angle for my face. And also it's a lot of white space like up here. Like in the vlogs, I don't care about stuff like that because like it's a vlog. But in sit down videos, I like them to be straightforward with not a lot of extra you know space it's just better for the eye so this video also is the one that remember it stopped filming so i basically had to go over everything twice so it took me forever it just bothers me and i feel like i'm just getting to the point in my career where i don't want to half as quality you know so yeah so let me show you guys what i'm talking about though hold on so as you can see like it's just a lot of space up here and it doesn't look straight on like it looks like almost like the camera's like this so i'm not crazy about it it just irritates me and it's not that bad but i don't like it like i feel like you should be able to see more of me rather than the background and i'm going to show you guys another video that like um whereas this video i filmed the same day and as you can see, oh, what the hell just happened? This, what? This video I filmed the same day, and as you can see, it's just less space. Um, so it just looks better, you know? Like, that's what I, I need just a little bit of space at the top of my head, not a whole foot of space, you know? But yeah, so it's just irritating me, honestly. <laughs> so. We're just gonna ditch that video. Sorry, I hate to say it. Hope I don't sound crazy. I could have burp. Like in a rush to do the Amazon videos because it doesn't like go out of stock the way other sites do. And if it does go out of stock, it comes back in stock. You know what I'm saying? So it's like there's never no pressure for Amazon videos. Whereas like clothing videos, where it's like pretty little thing, misguided, ASOS, and stuff, there is pressure because I want you guys to be able to get this stuff as I listed. So yeah, let me just stop talking and we're gonna go do that. And then, um, I don't think I had anything else to tell you guys. Now I have to freaking schedule USPS to come back to my house. Um, so yeah. Fun times, fun times, fun times, man. Ugh. Okay, hey guys. I'm such a terrible vlogger because I don't think I vlogged today at all now that I think about it. So it is Monday. You guys know Mondays is just a little 
they're a little rough over here on this channel um you know we just don't be ready for school you know how i feel about harper school and we be we be trying to get into it i didn't get any sleep last night i went to sleep at like three o'clock in the morning i woke up at eight so i took a nap um but i just got finished editing the amazon video that you guys are gonna see i don't know if you would have saw that already or if it's gonna be next week i don't know and then um also another video the surprise video that's going up this week oh my gosh so yeah i really want some french fries <laughs> but i'm not gonna do it but i really want some i just don't feel like getting my air fryer is that a thing um i also didn't do what i was supposed to do yesterday which was take out everything for the collective haul but i'm gonna do that tonight so that i could refilm it tomorrow um uh, because my last two packages get here tomorrow anyways so that kind of just works out so i'm gonna just do my makeup take some photos do that one video boom done bada bing um so yeah i put all my smart outlets in my wall today and wow guys my room is so fancy hey alexa turn the lamp off okay freaking crazy like wow so i have it on my lamp because you guys know my lamp is on the other side of my bed so it's just a hassle sometimes so now that's connected my mirror is connected with the lights in the back and so is my tv um because i do be losing my remote these days especially my apple tv remote so yeah love this i just um so yeah i basically just had like a work day today i honestly just been sitting here editing videos and because there was so many of them um i kind of just was dedicated to that but yeah today was definitely just work a work day literally just a work day but i'm feeling super good because two of the videos did work out um and i just have some creative bits to do and then Hi. they're done and i just gotta refilm tomorrow so yeah say deuces look at your frizzy hair oh my goodness peace all right so if you follow me on instagram or you just actually keep up with my videos this look looks very similar to you so oh my god it's tuesday yeah it's march 9th and i just went live about the pregnancy that i've been <laughs> guys i was hiding it the whole time i'm so fat though now i can't even hide it anymore like even if i try to so um yeah we went live and i'm just sitting here first of all it's so cold down here because the windows are open but i went live with it i never had a plan of when where how um i had took a few photos throughout my pregnancy and i just was waiting for one that just is very clean and simple so i took the time to do that today because again i cannot hide it anymore like i'm always out of breath <laughs> this baby is so big so active i'm always out of breath literally like always gasping when i talk um and yeah i just i'm getting big i don't know why my camera seems like it's so zoomed in these days but whatever so i just felt good energy today i honestly had plans of doing it tomorrow like i was gonna just take my time and do it tomorrow but i had such good vibes today such good energy and actually uh, something that i wrote in my notebook to manifest for me and my mom it happened today so i just knew that like my angels and stuff and like my grandparents were like on my side so i felt like today was the day i was super nervous i really was because i don't know i was just scared because like as vulnerable as i am i feel like i'm vulnerable to a certain extent i don't know if this sounds weird and dumb but like it's really true like you know i share everything with you guys but at the same time i really don't share a lot so like i feel like i share a lot about me you know me just me like but not harper and things like that so yeah i was really scared and i just posted everything at the same time and i just got on instagram and i am um, just I'm like reading everybody's comments on the video and on Instagram and I just want to say thank you. <laughs> oh, I gotta film another video after this. I cannot cry. But I just really want to say thank you because you guys are just so sweet to me, honestly. And it might like not mean nothing to y'all. 
but it means a lot to me so yeah it just is really crazy like seeing how many people are just so accepting and positive and stuff like that oh my god now my makeup is gonna be messed up <laughs> i'm such a baby i'm always crying um so yeah i just feel very happy right now i feel very overwhelmed with love and no one knew like nobody in my family um except for like my immediate well except for like my parents and stuff like my mom my dad my stepdad um and my friends so it was a secret that everybody was kind of keeping and i'm just happy <laughs> to have it out the way because i was like not going outside or nothing because i didn't want anybody to see me and i knew people would like speculate it in the comments which is fine but you know I just wanted to do it on my own terms when I was mentally prepared and my heart was ready. So, yeah. Uh, oh my god, we're having a baby. I'm super excited though, you know. I'm just excited to have a second chance and just for it to be so different. I really, really am. I look forward to it. I mean, I've been enjoying it this entire time. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm so hungry. You guys know when I'm working, I just don't eat or drink or anything. So I'm going to make myself some lunch really quick and drink a shitload of water to kind of replenish myself. Um, I'm going to insert some of the other pictures I took right here just in case you don't follow me on Instagram. So you're kind of in the know of the photos. Wow, I don't think any of my videos have ever had this many comments. You guys are shady as Thick. but you guys are just saying like how happy you are for me how a lot of you <laughs> thank you i feel like you guys are gonna be your aunt and stuff like that you guys are just amazing you guys really are i feel like i don't deserve you guys you know um someone said who's cutting onions i'm cracking up uh but yeah i just feel so emotional right now i really really do like I wasn't expecting these emotions to come over me when I did go public with it, but I just feel so loved. I feel like my other experience, I can't, and I know I always refer to that, but that's because it's such a groundbreaking moment in my life, but I feel like um, I didn't feel the love, you know? So it was a, just a very down moment for me, and like an embarrassing moment for me all around. And this time it's just everyone is just there you know and i just feel really good about it like i really really do and i know both my kids are gonna do great things in life so we're having a baby but yeah now it's just racing the clock finishing the pregnancy having a healthy baby and changing everything about my life literally everything is gonna change all <laughs> within one swoop which I know I'm going to get a little overwhelmed with and anxious about eventually. Um, but right for right now, I'm just trying to stay really open-minded about it and just look forward to the changes that are coming. Because I know they were changes that were well overdue. Um, and now the universe is just saying, Asia, it's time for everything that you've been asking for to happen all in one swoop in life. And I'm going to be very receiving of all my blessings. And... I'm just ready like I keep saying it sounds probably really redundant but I really am ready and I wouldn't expect for everything that I've been wanting and asking the universe for it to be happening all within like a few months time span but that is the case so you know I'm just going into it with a fresh positive mindset you know so yeah I'm gonna go to eat something drink something and um film i'm gonna film the collective haul today because i don't feel like ever doing my makeup again this week and yeah i think that's it so thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments and the sweet love and stuff and i can't wait to take this journey with you guys so yeah oh my goodness my face is so fat damn baby <laughs> all right i'll see you guys in a little bit why is the camera so i did i break the camera i think i broke the camera yes yeah, sir what what am i looking at the chip all right so while this light is 
fire okay anyways so i just wanted to come on here really quick because one i'm freezing because i need to eat my body is starving and second of all i don't feel like filming a video but i really have to because i'm so ready for these nails to come off how long we have them two weeks yeah i think we had them for two weeks um my appointment's on monday to get a new set and i could just wait to get them soaked off but i'm kind of ready to just like be able to go ham and work with no nails so yeah i need to sit them off but i gotta film first because my nails is gonna look crazy now this camera is dying wow i feel like my underarms are getting so dark from pregnancy i know like sometimes you can get darker patches but my underarms are just so much darker than they usually are but whatever i'm gonna go eat really quick because the camera's dying anyways so let's say good morning good morning how did you and your friends sleep today we slept really good i mean I how do you know how i slept i mean i saw it and well yeah so we're going to target after we eat because it's early and so i have a little bottle Bugs are in full effect. It's hot. What are you scared for? Harper packed herself for breakfast. <laughs> like she's going to school or something. Here, hurry up and eat your toast so it don't get soggy. It's not, a bug is not going to get you, girl. Hurry up and eat so we go to Target. Look at your dog being bad. I'm just eating a breakfast sandwich because I love these things. Oh, I don't see how I eat the bug. Hmm? <laughs> package from desi that i've been waiting on literally for like a week and a half i was waiting on this to do the collective haul but it was never coming and it, it didn't really make sense anyways because it's not in stock for you guys to buy oh my god it's like really hot outside it feels so good to be getting some sun you know with the bump out we have not we have not had sun in a while so um, I got two black pairs, so I got these ones, these are, we don't know what these are, these are Read the Room in the black and brown gradient. If you're looking at my nails, I pulled my nails off last night, I don't know why. I don't have anything to film until my, after my next appointment, so I just wanted my nubs back, you know? So... These are what these look like. Super, super cute. And then I also got flies are so ugly. These are the backtrack. These are the pair I always wear in my vlogs. And you guys always ask me, and I always put it in the description box, but people don't read the damn description box. So these are the backtracks in black. I don't know if you guys remember those sunglasses that I used to always wear on Instagram. My boyfriend broke them because he's a hater. <laughs> so he broke them on accident. Um, so I can't find them anywhere. They're not in stock. So I got these as a replacement. And yeah, these were $85, I believe. And these were $75. They're really nice quality, though. I mean, okay, Cinderella, what do you want to be in my video for? Like, what the hell? They're really nice quality, though. They're really heavy and sturdy for the price so yeah i do like her glasses it's just you have to be there on launch day to get them like you can't get them <laughs> if you're not there on launch morning so yeah i'm gonna go in the house and go change my clothes into actual clothes because we're gonna go to target because i'm gonna get some sheets and stuff and um i'm gonna get some sheets probably look at a new duvet birds are killing my vibe though um hey puppy boy was Bracken, bro? Hey, puppy boy. Or oh, just a puppy boy. You probably smell like outside. You're trying to kiss me up top. <laughs> bro. You need a haircut and a bath and some lovings. You look neglected. Um, he's so rude and little. But yeah, alright, so that was basically all I wanted to touch. So my skin is doing really well right now. It's just me getting rid of the marks, but it's really nothing I can do about the marks until I have um, the baby. And even after having the baby, if I decide <clears throat> to breastfeed, it'll it kind of change. Um, not if I decide to breastfeed, but if breastfeed works out for me. Because when I had Harper breastfeeding, it didn't really work out for me. I didn't produce, I didn't produce a lot of milk. Um, so she just ended up being on a bottle after me giving up. So yeah, I'm going to try to give it a go this time though. 
but if I do breastfeed, me getting a chemical pill and stuff like that, it's kind of had to be delayed. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. So let's go to Target, guys. Let's go have a Target date. Where are we? Target. Here you go. What are you bringing your phone for? Just in case what? Put it on. Oh, You're not. It's, real. it's so nice outside. Who wants to wear a mask? Nobody. Nobody. That's right. All right. We out of here, kid. Let's go. Because this is your channel. This is I need some clothes. That's ugly. That's for oh, this. Beautiful. Look at me. Okay, let's see what my mom should get. We should let her get this. I'm gonna let my see how. Mommy, do you like this? No. Oh, <laughs> you're so boring. <sighs> Okay, you should not look at that because these are, you know. Um, let's see. Should come here. Where my mom can see if she can see. Mom, do you like this? Oh, you don't like anything I think. Well, let's see what you got. Okay, yeah. Um, let's give you some. Where are you going next? I'm gonna be. I think I'm gonna record like for a bit because I want the camera to die when we're in the car. Because I've been letting the camera die all day. Want some pampers for the baby? What? Want pampers for the baby? The baby doesn't need pampers yet. Okay, dude. Um, yeah, happy fires. Let me get them. No. Do we have these for my baby dolls? No. Y'all, luckily when I just press record because it like zooms in a little, you can't see that the, that the room is destroyed. But I'm gonna get it together. I really am. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. Something in here is missing. So I don't know. I kind of think I don't like my room this way, but now that I bought a bigger TV, I'm kind of stuck. Honestly, truly, but whatever. So, I just got home from Target. Uh, it was so nice outside. Child, you know it's nice outside in Philly because you just be driving around. And it just be dirt bike central, okay? Giving very much bike on 12 o'clock at every single red light. But yeah, so we just got home. I'm going to just do a quick little Target haul. And then I am going to get this space together. First up... I got um, this Casa Luna, uh, what's this called, Duvet. I got the linen blend because it's, it's getting nice outside. I just thought this would look really nice and airy. I'm over the textured one on my, my bed. I also got the Casa Luna temperature balancing sheet kit. Um, I got this because they didn't have the linen one. I really wanted the linen sheets, but they didn't have it, but this is fine. This was $79. I don't know why this stuff is so high. Um, but yeah, it says it's blissfully smooth cotton with 37.5 technology adapts to create an ideal atmosphere for sleep. 
child sound like a whole bunch of bs to me but yeah this stuff was really really high so i got that and then um i got some new sponges because i just needed them and then i got harper like a thermostat bottle as well because she does not drink a lot of water i have to really stay on top of harper to drink it harper has this cup she'll drink out of it um she used to have a lot of these from when she was going to school because i used to pack them in her lunchbox and stuff but they got messed up because um harper got this little camel she wanted to paint it i don't know it was three dollars wow that was ridiculous harper also wanted to get the baby some socks i don't know why because these are like fleecy socks but whatever we'll add it to the baby's collection of so yeah i also got this one shampoo and conditioner super super cute i think i just got it for the packaging you know the packaging gets me every single time so this is by the brand called monday i'm not gonna lie i saw this on my explore page a lot you know i got like a bunch of like um maternity tops because like i said um none of my stuff fits so i just needed like some tank tops that i could just throw on and layer with uh we got this baby we got the baby a onesie because harper is just she was trying to trick me she was like i want to go to target to get the baby something and then it was like but i want it for my baby dolls but you know i was like harp now a real baby's coming we don't have time to be shopping for these baby dolls and then i was telling harp harp where are these three babies going with a real baby you know but we picked up this set of um onesies you know me gender neutral i don't do color color is not my vibe harper didn't wear color when she was a baby either so it's just a little white onesie i love the kimono style onesies are my favorite and a gray and a dark gray so yeah but like for me i got um a maternity v-neck i know i'm not gonna like the v-neck but i could wear it with like um a crop sweatshirt over top um i'm just not crazy about like v-necks that are like not super low cut because i'm a hoochie but yeah, it's super stretchy and soft and it fits the belly. I got that in a small and then I just got a couple tank tops. So I got a maternity tank top in a small because they're just longer. And then I got a white one and a medium. I got a gray one and a medium because I didn't know what size that was. Um, so I need to like just try them on and see for future reference. And then I also just picked up a black one in a medium. And then, oh, I got more okay harper got a hair tie harper just grabbed stuff i got a white one and a medium and a black one i mean and a small and a black one and a small so that was all i got and y'all i spent a lot of money and i didn't get nothing 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 i i'm a little skeptical of this little zoom in function these days all right y'all so i know we were supposed to clean together but then i had got on the phone with a friend of mine that i haven't talked to in ages so I just was loudly gagging on the phone. You know when you be on the phone and you just start touching random things, doing things that wasn't even on your to-do list? That was me. So, um, I'm always out of breath when I start talking. I was always trying to hide how winded I was. <laughs> oh, I'd be winded, okay? Um, so I just made my bed. I just got everything out the washer. And y'all, <laughs> I hate to say it. I hope I'm so crazy, but this Casa Luna stuff is fire. Oh my goodness. The sheets are so so good so remember i was telling you guys that um the reason i was looking for new sheets is because i have the low mattress which you guys know and then i put a foam pillow topper not a pillow topper a foam topper on top um because like once i started getting once once i was pregnant and like gaining weight i just noticed i needed something that's a little bit softer than the low and it's weird because my mattress doesn't seem as soft as harper's i don't know if i put it upside down i don't know i just never tried honestly but whatever so i also linked down my gel topper that i put as well on my bed because it's so so good it's four inches thick and it has like cooling beads in it mm -mm -mm. So, mm. Once I broke it in, like after a week, girl, I lay and I roll around in my bed and I'd be like, did that. But yeah, so the problem was, was, so my problem became that once I had the low mattress and the four inch, um, the four inch gel topper, pregnancy brain, my sheets, they fit, but like after rolling around in the bed all night, they were lifting and stuff. Um, 
and that's just not my vibe i don't like when i wake up and my sheets are not tight anymore it just doesn't look clean and i was always tugging at them and then when i had the long nails the other day i couldn't tug but so much because i was scared i was gonna break a nail i also wanted to tell you guys before the camera this shit right here y'all i got this some lows um and it was just something super random i started noticing that like windex doesn't work that well um so i just saw this because i also got some concrete cleaner to clean my roof but i picked this up and it's so fucking good uh it's so good i don't know if it's because it's a foam that it just works better and it's way easier to clean and like i don't know but it's so good so i would definitely hi highly recommend this too i don't know why i'm recommending you guys glass cleaners but whatever hello who texted me we are at the mall we just got to the mall we came here to get harp a whole new wardrobe harper needs new clothes shoes um i don't think you need jammies i just think your jammy drawer needs to be clean why do you have a hood on a boogie with the hoodie so i'm not gonna bring the camera in because the tripod doesn't fit in my bag um so we're gonna probably vlog via phone for a second so yeah let's get it let's get it let's get it you got your mask Cheese. Wait, be careful. Be careful, you're in the street. You gotta open the front door first. all right so oh my god can you guys hear the air conditioner now I, the two two out of the three cars that i'm contemplating on getting i just saw i think that's a sign it's such a beautiful day i was kind of thinking about stopping at the car dealership um but i don't really want to do that by myself so i don't know but anyways so Oh my god this camera is definitely broken and it's so upsetting but it is friday and i'm just heading out the house to go get vaccinated my covid vaccine so i'm gonna touch base with you guys a little bit later because i'm all over the place 
I'm gonna show you a quick OOTD, aka all I've been wearing all week because it's all like a fit. So I did have on a Zara crop denim jacket. I have a bra on and it hurts so bad. Ugh. Whatever. I have on a maternity tank top from Target and my H&M workout leggings and some slippers because I need to put my shoes on. And I'm gonna just carry this bag because that's what I carried yesterday. Like a harp in the bag. So bad. All right, so. I will see you guys in a little bit because I'm tired and my back hurt right now. Look at the belly. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. I look huge. Hey guys, today my YouTube channel, my mom wants to be just like me. <laughs> vaccine at like one o'clock this light is so bright my eyes burn but yeah i did that this afternoon um and it was fine it was super super quick um i got an appointment through my doctors but yeah i was in and out of there i just had to sit for like 15 minutes um so they could like make sure no symptoms hit or anything was like wrong so that was that but i don't I'm not in pain. I don't feel any symptoms or anything. My arm is a little sore right here. But my arm is sore from everything. My sore, my arm is sore every time I get shots or blood drawn or anything. Um, but the, sh the shot itself was super, super painless. Like the girl who did mine, she was really good um, and like super quick. But yeah, like right now my arm is sore. But I also think that is because my body was like super sore when I woke up today. I have no idea why. Because um, I didn't do anything yesterday. But when I woke up, I noticed my body was like super, super sore, like especially like over here. I think it's just the way I slept. Um, I've been sleeping really, really good lately, which I'm super happy about because I don't know if you guys remember that I was saying I was sleeping terrible um, in the beginning of my pregnancy. But I've been sleeping fine, especially since I got these new sheets. Love them. But yeah, so my body was super sore this morning. And then I got the shot and my body still felt sore but i don't know if it was because this just made me a little bit more sore in this arm but the rest of me is sore still um i just woke up from a nap i feel like the only symptom or side effect i guess that i really got is that i was sleepy so when we got home we finished watching um riot and the last dragon on disney plus i had bought it last night but we watched it like really late so we paused it and we finished it today we restarted the whole thing it was a really cute movie it's really good i love disney movies um <clears throat> but we did that and this is getting like super super sleepy and i know it's not because i didn't get like a good night of sleep so i'm guessing that was like my one side effect because i know fatigue is one of them but other than that i've been like perfectly fine so it's um now that I got vaccinated, I just need to wait for my second dose. I got the Pfizer one, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, um, I don't know if any of you are pregnant and we're considering the vaccine. But just in case you are like a little unaware of why I may have opted to get it. Um, so because I'm further in my pregnancy, they do they do offer it to pregnant women. Pregnant people are in the top list to get it i don't know if that makes sense i'm having a brain for it but basically i don't know if you guys know but like the covid vaccine was being administered in phases so there was like 1a 1b yada 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 pregnant people were in 1b and that is because um our bodies are so focused on nurturing the baby and taking care of this baby that if we were to get covid we are more likely to have more serious side effects we're more likely to be on a respirator and things like that um and 
you guys know i don't put myself in a position to get covid i don't go outside i don't go around people because i will have to start traveling soon um it just was best for me to get it just to have like that extra security i obviously don't plan on getting rid of any of the precautions that i've been doing such as wearing a mask and not going near people just because i'm vaccinated you're not about to see me hanging out with nobody but because i have to start traveling soon and um even over the summer and early fall i'll be having to travel a lot too it's kind of just was best for me to get it now um also it's not considered dangerous for pregnant people to get um a lot of pregnant people have opted to get it because again we are more immunocompromised in a sense because our body is taking care of a baby and not really us at this point um and i just i made the decision to get it so yeah good morning friends good morning friends what's the vibes look like today <clears throat> so it is 1 49 literally me and Harp woke up at like 12 30. i don't know why Harp, well, i don't know why Harper's is so tired but i know for a fact that i'm exhausted from the pfizer covid shot i was telling you guys yesterday that i was like i had really bad fatigue and I just felt really really drowsy and then at like 12 this is so minty but i really want to put it on because i know it's comfortable but i, I don't know what melon roller is <laughs> so i can't wear that um but yeah i was like so drowsy and then at like around 12 o'clock um i just got so sleepy and that's not like me because i usually go to sleep at like 1 30 2 in the morning um so i knew it was from that that was really the only side effect that I had. My arm was really, really sore in the middle of the night. It still is super sore now. Um, like when I was trying to turn on my left side to sleep, it was like really hard to get comfortable because you guys know I should have got it in my right arm. I don't know why I wasn't thinking. Um, but it's more I do it's better to sleep on your left side pregnant because of the blood flow, the veins. I don't know. Whatever. So yeah, we just got up. Um, I'm about to go downstairs and find us something to eat. I'm just trying to find something to put on really quick. Um, these days, I try to just make myself feel a little bit better and actually put clothes on. Not like get dressed up like in my Sunday's best, you know, like in my church fits or whatever. But I just try to put on something like semi-cute that I will wear outside in the summertime. So... I just have on some um, Pangaea shorts that you guys know I always love. Um, I'm going to put on this gray crop top really quick. So BRB. All right. So now we're upstairs. <laughs> As if you guys saw me walk upstairs. I'm going to show you guys what I got from Zara that I'm not keeping. Um, I need to go return it because it's like $300 worth of stuff. Um, so yeah. My air. This baby has been making my whole body so dry. Like inside my ears are dry. I'm dry. My eyelids right here on the under lash line everything just dry okay it's ridiculous so harper's whole entire shopping spree she only had to return two things um she had picked out this little <laughs> onesie for her um but she had grabbed it i didn't pay no the size anymore she got a six she needs a seven just so it's not like all up in her crevices and then i got her this little bikini because i just thought it was so cute like i really like the toned down colors of it like it's more like less saturated um but girl where is the rest of the bra like she is a kid so it was a little too european s for me so that had to go but <clears throat> for me i picked up this unitard because i don't know i just thought like maybe it'll look cute and i wouldn't be as self-conscious as i would without a pregnant belly um because I just would be picking on my own body. So I picked this up. And again, this is not that terry cloth that's so popping and so everywhere. And it's really nice. Um, what is this called? Like a, I don't know. I don't know what color this is. And it has cutouts on the side. It was cute on, but it's definitely not my vibe. So I just decided to return it because it was like $35. And I was like, for girl, girl, for $35, you can have it back. Next, I picked up this white cropped uh, jacket. And I got this because it looks like a like almost like a parachute style jacket, but I thought it would have looked nice like with maternity biker shorts or something like just something to have something loose on the top of my belly. 
need to wash my hair so bad, but that'll be tomorrow's test. Um, and I liked it because it was white. You guys know I like white stuff. This is an extra, extra large, and it is small. It fits really small. But I thought this would look really cute. Um, I just wasn't crazy about it. It was okay. It wasn't like the worst thing I bought, but not in love with this. I just was like, okay, it could go back too. Um, I look crazy from this angle, but whatever, we move. The next thing I picked up was this um, ribbed racer bag dress. You guys know I love racer bag tops. So I was like, great, a racer bag midi dress. It'll just be something I could just throw on and just layer with denim jackets, sweaters, jackets, anything like that. Um, I have this one in white upstairs that I am keeping. But the reason I'm giving this one back is this one is a medium and it's just a little bit too tight. Whereas the white one I got in a large and the large fits a lot better. Um, so I need to get this in a large, but they didn't have a large in stock in store. But yeah, it's really, really cute. It's just a staple black dress. But see, I don't want to wear too much of this stuff, like just living in plain, stretchy clothes. Like I just want to still be fashionable, but whatever. Um, the next thing I picked up was this little satin dress. I picked up a lot of satin dresses because I knew satin is like a material that it just would look nice on. Girl, was I wrong? Um, so this one is a black mini one and it has like a lace insert. So, so, so freaking pretty and cute. Um, I got a large just so that it wasn't short on my butt. It just looked like under clothes, like bed clothes lingerie so yeah it wasn't no for me um i picked up these leggings because i got these to go with um the sweatshirt that i got and these leggings are just the itchiest material they just were trash they just were a big no for me um and then i got this pink slip dress because again love color right now i'm just in it you know like i feel the vibes and super super cute but my whole butt was out. I actually think this is the one that I had in black. I think I just put it on wrong. Um, but I don't know. It was a no for me. I really do anything, like hit my body the right place because of my belly. So then the next one I picked up is this blue long one. This one was actually really pretty on. It probably wasn't something I would reach for or actually get any use out of, but I just wanted to have it. Um, it fit really nice on the belly. The only reason I'm returning this one is because it's a little bit tight around the boobs. Like, I know my boobs are going to get a little bit bigger. So, I didn't want to, like, just be suffocating my boobs. Um, so, yeah, I opted to return this because of that. But the rest of it was nice. I got this in a medium. So, if they have it in a large, when I go back, I'll probably get the large. But if they don't, then it's whatever. Like, I'm not crying. And then the last thing that I got was this dress that they have relaunched in like so many different colors it's the one that has the buttons on the side it's so so pretty as well um it fit really nice i got this one in a medium it fit good it fit better than the blue one i think because it's more of a cow neck but the reason i'm returning this one is because i didn't like the color on my skin tone it just like washes me out i didn't like it so yeah that was really the only stuff that i got that um <clears throat> i was like okay i don't like this stuff it has to go back but i am however gonna go retry on everything that i decided to keep just to make sure i actually want it because i just want to be practical um so yeah we're gonna do that but anyways i'm just gonna show you the rest of the stuff that i got from czar i'm not gonna try it on um because i'm lazy but i'll try to include pictures of the model we'll see how that goes i probably won't because y'all know the models are sketchy as hell but i'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that i decided not to keep um just because i'm not in love with it so the first thing i got was this like cut off one sleeve sweatshirt um it's super cute it's kind of dumb when you think about it but when i put it on and i had like a gold chain on it did look cute and i just thought it would be nice i don't know maybe i'll keep it <laughs> Because it did look cute. Like, I had on a pair of biker shorts and a white tank top. And I just had this on with, like, a necklace. And it just was something to make me feel, like, a little bit more dressed up. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this, actually. But it's super cute. I got mine in a large because I didn't want it to be, um, like, restricting over here. Harper saw this and she was like, what is that? You know Harper is shady. But I thought it was super cute. You know, I like stuff like that. Because I like, like, the crop titties that is just an arm warmer. Stuff like that. So I'm actually going to keep this. Um... The next thing that I'm going to take back is this white top that I got. It's like a white knitted top. I just liked it because it had like a hole cut out on the side that you scrunch. Um, it's super, super cute, but I don't need it because it's kind of weird while I have a belly. So yeah, I'm going to return this. This was 
$29.90 and I got this in a large as well. It's super, super stretchy though, um, but it's not nothing that I need right now. Um, and then I got this leather blazer. This is the one, it's the more affordable one on the Zara website, so it's $69.90. It's really nice quality, really heavy and sturdy. Like I like the feel of it, but the thing I don't like about it... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I don't know why my nose is running. But the thing I don't like about this one is I don't like how long the hem is, or not the hem, but like just the jacket itself. It's a very long line blazer, um, and I'm five four, so like on me it literally goes past my butt. I don't feel like that's the most flattering cut for my body. Oh, uh, the next thing that I got um, that everyone keeps telling me to keep because it looked super super cute on, but it was one of those things like. I don't know like where am I actually gonna wear it to but it's this mustard yellow crop top I love the crop you guys know I love I love these like if I could build a collection of bras I probably would like with no remorse um so I love the top I love the yellow against my skin color and I think even when I get a tan it'll even be better um I don't I feel like I didn't say that right but whatever pregnancy brand but I love this mustard yellow and then I got the matching shorts to go with it um, it just is a super, super cute look. Like, I thought this would be super cute on vacation with, like, a big, oversized, crisp, thick, white button-up. Um, a lot of gold jewelry and, like, wood accents and stuff like that. The, the next thing that I got is this set, and I really like this set. I'm actually going to go order the matching pants right now because they didn't have the pants in stock in my store. So, of course, it involves a bra. So, it's like this thermal material. Um, it's like in the sagey baby blue. You guys know I love sage, especially on my skin. So, I got this in the medium. This was $12.90. So, it's just a crop top. And then they had like a actual thermal top. They're not exactly the same colors. This is just like a tinge darker, but I don't mind it. I got this thermal in a large because one... I'm pregnant and two i just thought this would be so cute with the matching crop with this thrown over the shoulders and the pants so i have to get the pants i'm gonna again link all of this below because my zara was like low on things um but i think this is a vibe love the color with like some white air forces like just to run errands i don't care about having my belly out um and then like if i get cool throw this on i can even put this on and knot it stuff like that you know like it's a vibe for me so love that um, the next thing I got, it was set up as a whole outfit, and I really, really liked it. I'm just trying to, like, get good loungewear. Um, that way it's just super versatile for my pregnancy. Like, when I'm in the house, I can feel good about myself. And if I got to run errands, I could just go. So I got these, like, minty green. Not minty green. These are, uh, not a sage. What are these? I don't know. What's this green called? Just a muted green. We're just going to go with muted green. But these are, like, a muted green thermal. I've just been really loving thermal as well. You guys know I like texture because I don't like prints. <laughs> so if I can get like textures like this, I love it. So this is a thermal, um, like little booty short. So it's super, super cute, really nice quality. I got these in a large and these were $20. They fit really well. Like I feel like they probably run a little bit small, um, but I got those because I got this sweatshirt to go with it. Um, dang, the color just popped in my head and then it went again. Wow, being pregnant is rough. <laughs> But um, I got this hoodie to go with it. It's just this really nice green hoodie. I just like this color, like this colorway. Um, and I got this hoodie in a large or extra large, I believe. I got an extra large because I wanted it to be like super, super oversized in comparison to the shorts. Like I wanted to create that natural balance of just like a nice boxy oversized slouchy top and then just a nice fitted bottom so you see like the thermal shorts peeking through i did like a little tuck in on the side and it just was really really cute again i would just wear this with like some dad socks and some air forces if i had to go outside so yeah love that and then the next thing i picked up um you guys are gonna see in a collective haul on wednesday that i got this little ribbed pink set i've been loving pink lately who the hell am i but I've been loving pink, so it's just these little pink rib shorts and a pink little bralette from the Limitless Contour Collection, which you guys know I love. And then I got this bright pink button-up, y'all. First of all, I got this in an extra, extra large one because it was the last one they had. And you know, when I'm pressed to get something, I'm pressed. But I actually really like the way it fits. So now I want them in every color in this size. Like, it just is so cute. Like, on my body. Like, bro, what you want? What's the vibes? Hey, puppy boy. Him just want some lovings and attention. Um, 
it doesn't look bad for it to be an extra extra large because I'm obviously not gonna wear it buttoned up like this looks crazy right um it was adorable literally like if you could find the whole entire set buy it it's such a fit remember I was telling well no actually you guys are not gonna know this yet but in the collective hall I was telling you guys that I wanted a pink blazer couldn't really find one that I felt like was a good price point being as though I'm never gonna wear a pink blazer other than that outfit so when I saw this I was like okay this is good enough for me but it's super super cute with the pink on and again I just like how boxy and big this is so now I want like a white one just like this for that yellow outfit like I hope that makes sense to you right okay um next up I got this little muted baby blue I love how they're doing these pastels but they're like a little muted like they're not full blown out there except for the pink um but it's like this little knit bralette it's super revealing because my boobs is a big but I got this in the medium this was $12 $17.90 damn um but I really really like the color of this it looks really really pretty so I'm gonna keep her you guys know I just love bras I just really really do um and then I got a pair of purple biker shorts from the limitless contour collection one you know it's just because I love that collection like I really really do like I'll probably just buy anything if it has that tag on it but also because the belly part was really high so I knew I would get a lot of support out of that for my belly um and I just thought it'd be super cute like a really nice oversized graphic t-shirt those days that I just want to look pulled together and not wear black white or gray I had these for a pop of color again it's a nice pastel for spring so it was super cute they had it paired in store with like a cream cropped hoodie and it was really cute um but I just thought I wanted these to just again throw over with a graphic tee and then the last thing I got that I'm keeping is the white version of that black dress that I showed you guys earlier it's just a staple midi dress um I had to come right in a large so that it's like comfortable on me and like not pressing my boobs and my belly in um but super super cute so yeah that's all I got from Zara and that I'm going to keep the rest of the stuff is going to go back Wow, we gotta go to Zara. Ugh. I'm so out of breath, guys. Talking makes me so exhausted. I don't know why. Alright, we're back. So, yeah, dinner was delicious. So satisfied with my meal choice. Um, I wasn't like prepared to cook. I didn't take anything out because you guys know I slept really late today. So, oh crap. I'm trying to decide what I want to cook for dinner tomorrow. I think I'm going to make like some lemon herb, butter, salmon, and broccoli and my potatoes. Um, start my week off really good. Is, um, I went through both of my closets and I basically shifted one closet to make it a maternity closet heart. What was that? What are you doing? Yeah, basically what I did is I went through both closets and I made one closet a maternity closet. That way, when I get dressed and I'm looking for something that fits me, I could just go in there. I don't know if I ever told you guys, um, or probably not, because I didn't really go into much detail on the pregnancy video. Um, but being pregnant right now <laughs> by someone that's not in America is rough because the pandemic is not at its worst right now. Um... But because of all the variants and stuff, I just really have to be careful. And like I was telling you guys when I decided to get the vaccine, um, it was more so a me thing. Just an extra layer of protection for myself. Um, but yeah, it's just like super scary right now, you know, like, so it's like, it's scary to travel late in your pregnancy. And then on top of that, during a pandemic, like you never know if the country is going to shut down um, or, you know, like anything can happen in the U.S., um it's just a lot going on which is why i'm home i freak i figured a lot of you are probably wondering why i'm home um but i felt like it was the safest thing for me to do and the safest bet for me to just stay here um because one my health insurance is here obviously two again it's just kind of risky um to be trying to travel back and forth and not knowing what's going on with these variants that are allegedly worse and again because i am considered immunocompromised because i am growing a baby um i just had to make the executive decision to spend my pregnancy here which kind of sucks in a sense um but you know it's that's something that's really out of my control like it's not when you kind of weigh the pros and the cons and me just thinking about my health and the baby's health it's the smartest thing to do so you know it's what i'm gonna do obviously 
Um, the numbers are going down everywhere, but again, it's the variants I'm more so worried about um, because they are a little bit worse. So, especially the UK variant, and the UK variant has made its way to New York. So, that's why I just don't do anything because now that it's even here in the States, I'm just like super cautious. But yeah that's pretty much that so yeah that's pretty much all that's going on i just wanted to tell you guys that because i know you guys are probably just like curious um but i will move <laughs> um it's just more so about just really making sure it's the right time the safest time for everybody involved and stuff like that so yeah i'm just gonna finish cleaning um, i'm gonna end the vlog here today because i don't have anything else going on so i will see you guys on wednesday for the collective haul and then sundays um I'm like so dehydrated, dehydrated lately. I have no idea why. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I know I had the little clip in it earlier this week. But I just wanted to express it again. You guys really did just make me feel so, so good. You know, it was just so many sweet comments. It's literally thousands of you that have congratulated me. And for those of you that have found my email and used my email as a way to send me gift cards and stuff, thank you. You guys do not have to do that type of stuff, but thank you nonetheless. It just shows that you guys are just literally so sweet um, and just, you know, want to be there for me in such an important moment in my life. Um... So, yeah, I'll see you guys next week and how at your girl. My air is, like, always itching. I don't know why, but, yeah, all right, I'm out of here, so...